Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 57 and um, not really looking forward to the next few races because uh, we, we got a series of bush races to do so yeah there's that also I forgot to fucking qualify before I started recording god damn it oh well anyways Bristol Sharpie Professional 250 uh, let me just go ahead and do heck and qualify and sign some autographs. Fuck it. Sign some autographs. Yeah. Woo. Go. Fuck. I fucked up already. This is a good sign. Oh god, I am not. Oh god, my coordination is fucking awful right now. Holy shit. Oh dear. This is going to, uh, this is going to be a wonderful night, I believe. Holy damn, that was awful. All right, well, anyways, to the actual race. EA Sports welcomes you to Bristol, Tennessee for today's NASCAR Bush Series race. Bristol, often referred to as the world's fastest half mile, is also one of the world's toughest. These drivers will be battling for position as they try to keep their fenders and their reputations clean while navigating this track's tight 36 degree corners. Here at Bristol, friendships will be tested and rivalries will grow even stronger. Flared tempers and flying parts make the races here at Bristol what American short track racing is all about. Now, let's go trackside as we get ready to wave the green flag on this event. Yeah, so qualifying went all right. I ended up qualifying in like the, what, top 20? So I'm like, oh, hey, Jimmer. When suddenly a Jimmer appears. Us, aw, I'm sad now. My boy Blue Castleberry qualified last. What the fuck? Blue, you were doing so good. And then suddenly, I turn off the game for a day, and now you're shit. Or now you qualify last. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Anyways, we got 62 laps around here. I'm starting 13th, and... Judging by how the, my truck race went here last season, I might do relatively okay if I can keep my car in the bottom, which I've already fucked up. The saddest boy. You mean me? I am a sad boy. Oh, we got Twat Boy behind or er, beside me. All right, try to find the hole. Find a hole. Found the hole. Found the hole. Only lost two spots. Of course, this bush car seems to be a lot, a uh, lot less stable than the truck I had, than the Orang. So, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do near as well in the perp as I did in the Orang. Sadly. But as long as I survive and maybe not finish last for once. I say that when I, like, you know, finish second at Darlington. But still, that was Darlington. Darlington is, for some reason, easy to, like, one of the easier tracks in this game. Hooray. Oh, shit. I'm doing your... I do remember I need to be a little more cautious exiting turn two because holy fuck the understeer. The understeer is uh, quite incredible. Let me exit turn two, especially compared to four. That damn very subtle egg shape to Bristol. Her turn exits are actually slightly different. I think we're in a situation here where, like, the guys behind me are faster than me, but as long as I keep my car in the bottom, they can't really do shit about it. Sh uh, yeah, shit about it. But only when I do that, they will be able to do shit about it. There goes Kenny. Also, speaking of Kenny Wallace, I tried finding that clip of him saying, like, I love my wife's big titties, uh, this morning. I couldn't find it. Maybe it was like... Maybe it was a Twitter video that had that. I don't know. I remember hearing that coming out of his mouth. I just don't remember where it came from. Or where I heard it. Could have sworn it was from a Fris Frisky Nixon upload, but apparently not. Bitch, the gap is not four and a half, it's three and a half. Learn how to count. 
Learn how to read numbers. Oh, Jesus. A little bit too much break into three there. Good. Everything's fine. Tires are starting to wear a little bit, which means I'm losing a little grip, which means these guys are getting more and more impatient behind me. And also, right up in my fucking... Just, just right up in my ass. Found a tweet where he said it. Okay, it was probably a Twitter video then, not a... Oh, he found a tweet where he said it in text. Damn. I remember hearing an audio clip of him saying it. I know that much. Ooh, shit. That was very close to the wall. I may or may not have shit myself there. Whippin' nanies at small track. Yes, zero. Northern Isles Speedway. Yeah, the fucking what the hell. This track ripping off Northern Isles Speedway from GT Sport is bullshit. Polyphony should sue. Also, I just realized who's leading the race. Fuck yeah, Mark Martin. Mark the Kid Martin. There's a deleted video of it on Reddit. That might be why I'm having problems fighting it. The video no longer exists is... I don't have to win this race, Zeke. I mean, I'm not expecting to either because my bush car is fucking garbage trash. It's okay, it's purple. It's purple with pink numbers, it's fine. That's the only thing that matters. I'm gonna suck ass, but damn it, my car's gonna look good while I suck ass. How's my racing boy? Uh, I'll let you know when I wake up. So far I have not yet grabbed a brush and put on a little makeup. Therefore... Oi, Jesus. Uh, I'll read your question about Suzuka 1k or 1000k in a moment. Oh! Open up the bottom. Here comes the fucking train. Choo choo, motherfucker. Uh, da, da, da. No, I'm not driving my own bush team. I'm driving for someone else. Matt? The only team I own so far is a modified team. And I have been kind of just fucking everybody. I've led every single lap in like four modified races, if that tells you something. Like how good my modified car is. Uh. Anyways, how come Gran Turismo 5 on Suzuka 1000? How was it RNG? Did you manage to get a dry race and not rain? What? The game. I. Uh, uh. I almost understand the question. Basically, in the GT5 for like the races that can have rain, the game like randomly chooses conditions. Like at the race start and as the race progresses basically. Yeah, fuck them fucking the modified so hard that I'm up I'm going to exclusively upload those segments to Pornhub. Shit's it. Shit's not safe for YouTube. So we have our first round of pit stops. Well, I say first round. The uh, the short pitters have come in. So now I must try my best to not rack and cause a yellow before everything cycles through. So I've done that way too many times already. This is how you Bristol. Using fucking Darlington lines, don't mind me. Oh, he'll know Junior on my ass. Ooh. Careful. 
Careful, careful. Alright, halfway through the race. So, that means... I'm gonna whack the shell wall. Please no, Junior. I wanna pit. Alright. Do the pits. Yeah. Alright. So, here we go. Oh, you got a full wet race at Suzuka. Yeah, the weather conditions for those races are randomly. So. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Just like in the B, I think in the B spec Suzuka Thousand K actually started with heavy wet conditions and it got dry eventually, or something like that. I forget how that went. I know it started in full wet and because of, I wasn't prepared for that, I had slicks on my car and my fucking B spec driver like lost an entire minute on lap one. Zero. I remember the fucking Dogecoin car. That was the greatest fucking sponsor ever to exist in NASCAR. Fucking Dogecoin. I still love how uh, they actually ran the Dogecoin livery at uh, during All Star Weekend or All Star Night. That was the best. Yeah, I would say Harvick has a good chance at winning the title after, you know, this year after winning the, f like, three out of the first four races. <clears throat> Although, because this is NASCAR and therefore it has a terrible, stupid fucking playoff system, it does not matter what you do in the first 26 races as long as you don't get fucked over by people not in the playoffs in the last 10. And hello, Harry. Thank you for the 20 bits. Hope you're ready for an unforgettable corner beating. Mm, yes. Oh, what the fuck is Orang doing? He's going really slow there. Must have just exited the pits. Pit road is busy, my dudes. It'll be interesting to see where I end up cycling through. Oh, Jesus. That was close. Yeah. It's like he... That's, that's like a, a thing that can actually happen, Quay, which is awful. It's like, oh, hey, you won all of the first 35 races, but you finished second at a homestead to and a different person who was in the uh, playoffs won the race. They're the champion, not you despite you winning the other 35 races. Nope. Mm -mm. It's, it's incredibly stupid. I still remember seeing a chart. It's like... It's like you could win, like, fucking one race and then finish 30th in all the remaining 25 races before the play playoff cut... the playoffs. And still get in. And then in the playoffs, you can, you know, win one race finish 40th the next two, repeat that twice, and then win at Homestead. You're the champ. Oh, fuck. It's okay. Just doing some, uh, doing some minor adjustments. Don't mind me. What if I were to switch on turn assist and disguise it as my own ability? Oh, oh. Delightfully devilish rhino. Who would be the Chalmers to my Skinner? Jimmer, maybe? Outside, outside, no one outside. <laughs> you ever miss a third of the season because of injury and still win the championship? Mm, Kyle Busch. Yeah, and that's why I always say NASCAR needs to get rid of the playoffs. I don't... Like, yes, it's their... I understand why it's their ratings. Because they have to compete with the NFL at that point in time, but still. Get rid of it. Oh, 
it's just it's not. just not. Why is there smoke coming out of my engine? <clears throat> there isn't. <laughs> There's smoke coming from my tires as I was sliding the shit out of my car. It's got a little bit of a live tap. Oh, and fuck. We're good. We're good. Keep the orang behind me. For no reason. Must be defeat. Rhino and Gemmer reenact Steam Hands with Smokestack play in the background. Actually, probably considering it'd be if Jimmer was in it, it would be fucking one, two, three funk playing them in the background. Steamed. Hams. Damn down down steamed. Hands. Brown, 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 steamed. Hands. St oh shit! Thank you, Billy. Appreciate that. Jesus Christ, he was determined to pass me. Steamed. Hands. Aurora. Bori. Alice. Seymour. Okay. Anyways. Whoops. And I done fucked up. Hold the brake. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I guess that was inevitable. <laughs> Considering I somehow didn't bring out a yellow when I got dunked by Parker. Holy shit. Whoops. Oh well. Oh well. I'm gonna have a few laps left here. I now have an angry boy in front of me. Actually, no, I'm not in front of me. Behind me, I'm JJ Hilly. Son of a bitch. Also, my car is a little bit, uh, sad. So thank you for starting me in a fucking very bad gear. Alright, three laps to go. Let's just hold on to this finish. Hello, Tim. Oh, but don't be surprised there is no caution. Uh, there wasn't a caution because my car wasn't at a bad enough angle to trigger the yellow. Because that's what triggers yellows in this game, is if a car, like, spins to a certain angle. Actually, not even spins, like, slides to a certain angle. They could, like, you know, catch it immediately, but... Yeah. Anyways, we're on the final lap, so time for everybody to slow the fuck down, because that's what they do on the final lap in this game, apparently. As noted here and also previous races. So, end up being in the top 30 because of that. Yay. Nice. Awesome. Not quite as good as I was kind of hoping to do, but I'll take it. I will take it, and hey, Mark Martin won. That's always a plus, because Mark Martin is the guy. He the man. Scrolling through the results because that's what I do. There I am. Started 13th, finished 29th. Not bad. And I want to say that's Terry Cook, but I don't know if that it actually is. Either way, retired at lap 43. Rip. So hooray. All right. Well, that went pretty all right. Except for that crash. Well, those two crashes, but still. That went pretty alright. When you only crashed twice at Bristol. It was a good day. Oh, shit. So, let's check out the updated Bush Point standings. And Martin, I think, takes the point lead. I think Hornaday was in the lead, but now it's Martin. A Lamal. And I'm now tied for 17th against JJ Yaley. How fitting, because uh, I, I done did pissed him off with that wreck. Whoops. Uh, but I'll conclude this segment, so next time we'll move on to another bush race, because these just fucking... 
big gap between the next truck and modified race, apparently. So, with that, stay tuned for more NASCAR.